So the first one we're going to look at of the six is going to be lease or sell. I have equipment. I'm no longer using it. It's just sitting around. So I want to make a managerial decision about what I should do with it. Well, when I do that, I'm going to need certain data. So here's the information I have. I'm going to look at the cost of the equipment cost me $200,000. Right now, I have $120,000 of accumulated depreciation, which tells me I have a book value of $80,000. Now, remember I said alternative one is always the status quo or what you've do, been doing. But since I haven't done anything on this scenario, I'm going to look at two alternatives. Should I lease it to somebody or should I sell it? So if I lease it, I'm going to get revenue of $160,000 over five years, but it will cost me $35,000. And the residual value at the end of the year of the lease is going to be zero. However, if I choose to sell it, I'm going to get $100,000 and I have to pay 6% on commission. So here's my differential analysis chart showing alternative one. Remember, alternative one is always the status quo unless you weren't doing anything. In this case, this equipment was unused. So I made this the alternative one or selling is alternative two. And then what is the differential effect on the income if I choose alternative two? So let's go across. We work across revenue. So I'm going to get 160,000 here, but if I sell it, I'm going to get 100,000. So I will really be losing 60,000 of revenue if I choose alternative two. That's why I have a negative sign. Cost, it's going to cost me 35,000, but if I sell it, it's only going to cost me the 6% commission. So I'm really gaining the difference of 29,000. So now I take and go down. So really the differential effect on income, if I choose alternative two, is I will be losing $31,000. Well, right away, you know I am going to actually make $125,000. Okay, so the question always is, when I get down here, based upon this number, what should I do? If it's positive, you should take alternative two. If it's negative, you should do alternative one. Now, there's one other component we didn't talk about. That has to do with the book value. So I just want you to know that information I gave you about the $80,000 book value is irrelevant here. It makes no difference about the book value. It's called a sunk cost. I've already bought the equipment. I've already incurred the um the accumulated depreciation i can't change any of this so sub costs are costs that have happened that you can't change and has no effect on my actual decision so this is lease or sell next we're going to review stop making a product or discontinue a non-profitable product line so sometimes i of course most companies make multiple different types of products but I may have a product line that may not be profitable. And so the question becomes, should I keep making it or should I not? Now, I have to remember that once I get rid of the product line, any variable costs will go away. However, my fixed costs will always be there regardless what I do. So let's take a look at an example. So I'm Battle Creek Cereal Company and I make lots of different types of cereal. But here is an income for my cornflakes, my toasted oats, and my bran. And so the total is basically the numbers added across and then down. So as you notice, my bran flakes is a uh, not a nonprofit product line, and I'm considering should I get rid of it. So here's all my data. Here's my here's my revenue that I'm getting. Here's my cost. Uh, Here's my variable cost. So I have 60,000 here and I have 25,000 here and my fixed costs are 20 and 6. So the question is, should I discontinue making brand flakes? So we're going to put it in a differential analysis chart. It's going to look like this. So we can, alternative one is continue what I'm doing. This is called status quo. Alternative two is get rid of that product line. So here's my information, here's my revenue, here's my variable, here's my fixed, here's my net income or loss right now. If I get rid of it, I am not going to have any money. 
I'm not going to have any variable costs, but I will still have fixed costs. So the differential analysis effect on income, if I stop making it as this, I'm going to lose 100000 of revenue. I'm going to gain 85000 in costs. But I still have to pay the 26000 so that's not going to change. But overall, if I stop making it, I'm going to lose $15,000. So often, most times, you'll, you'll want to say, let's stop making it. But when you actually run this chart, you'll find out that, in fact, it's best to keep it going. So these were two of the six ones. I'm going to do two per video. So on the next video, we're going to do make or buy and the one that was after that.